What's going on, guys? It is the Bad Wolf. Appreciate each and every one of you guys out there. Thank you for hitting that bell, like, and subscribe. Um, today we're going to be talking about the passport. Now, we've made many videos in the passports. We've debunked their little uh, certain people's attempts at trying to say there's no such thing as a national uh, using their own, you know, things. So we're going to kind of cover all the key points of the passport information that you guys need to know. All right. So even though you've watched other ones, this is going to be a good one. All right. Um, as always, you guys can check me out on all the social media platforms. Follow me on my other YouTube channel, which is the Bad Wolf Media Channel. I might change it to Bad Wolf um, Uncensored or something in the future. And we're just going to talk about all the stuff that pops up, everything, you know, whatever pops up, we're going to kind of bring it on there. Um, so I'm also on many of the other social media platforms. You can find out which ones are legitimately mine on blacksite32.com. Go there, get the newsletter, and then check out the social media page. You can also read about passports um, and things about like Colonel Von Wilson of Copper Moonshine Stills, who put some of this information out there, the passport process. Um, uh, um, Jackie Fig, who pioneered uh, right to travel. And there's lots of great resources there, guys. Um, so share this information, share the videos. If you see anybody using any of my images, logos, uh, whatever else, my likeness in some kind of negative way, don't, for, don't feel, please go ahead and click that bullying, slandering, report their videos. All right. We've already got some other ones shut down, trying to be against freedom. Like, I really don't understand why there's other people who are either in this same avenue of information or certain trolls and, and agents out there because whether you're a troll or an agent or in this and you you don't like me or you're trying to flap at me to get some notoriety to your thing okay i'm putting out the information for everybody to see don't worry about what i'm doing if you don't like it then you read the information interpret it for yourself and make your own videos but here's the thing all those people out there who do that anyway, you're just making my numbers go up, in all honesty. Because a lot of people that you're convincing that, you know, oh, this is not the right information. Like, it, can you reach? it literally says national. I'm, I'm going to show you guys all the key points right now in this video. So you can read for yourself. I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just telling you what I've done. And why I've been successful and why I keep beating them in court and why they don't want to deal with me and why the ones who do want to know about this police officers and other uh, judges and attorneys who've contacted me because they don't know. I have an uphill battle. I'm trying to prove that you guys have the right to privacy, the private side as nationals. Because you guys have only known to live as U.S. citizens in the public. Then you wonder why you have to pay taxes. You wonder why they can come onto your property. You think you can say whatever you want on YouTube or Facebook and there's no, no you should be able to do that. Those are all public things. They own and control and administer jurisdiction over the public. People say that you want, you, there's people out there who didn't want to take the, you know why you had to do that? Because you were operating as a U.S. citizen. As a national, somebody private, they don't have jurisdiction over the private. They cannot. What they do to most of you people out there is because they're in a public capacity and they're doing it against public people. When they go home, do not know that these wealthy people and these Congress people and whoever else operate in the private. I made the video where the White House literally said there were certain things they could not do to Hunter Biden because he's a private sector citizen either either you're a part of the wolf pack and you get it or you're somebody new and you don't get it or you're one of the two or three trolls i like to put the thumbs down on my videos i think it's cute um bugs from the plants uh operate how you want i really don't care i live in a private i enjoy it i control everything and i own nothing same thing all the wealthy people have told me since i was nine years old and i started learning how to do this Okay, for over 20, 30 years now. All right, but hey, individual results may vary. This is all for education, entertainment, informational purposes only. 
do what you want to do. With that being said, let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to hit all of the key points in the passport scenario. And then from there, that's it. I don't really have any more videos to make on the passport unless something truly unique pops up. So this video normally would be in my VIP only section. All right, so this is going to be one of the last VIP types that I'm gonna put on this side. If you wanna join the VIP and see all the additional information, behind the scenes, commentaries and whatever else, join the Wolfpack by going to YouTube and then click on the join and then choose a level that you wanna get in on and then you'll be able to get videos like this. So this is the last one I'm gonna put on this side. I'm going to start making more, well, let me say this correctly. Don't freak out. I'm still going to make normal videos. I'm just saying that these ones like this I'm going to go into, I would normally put in the VIP. I'm going to still make normal videos, but this is the last one I'm going to put on this side in this caliber. All right. So let's get going. Hopefully everybody's doing good out there. Just know that I appreciate you. And uh, if you guys are struggling, don't give up. All right. Just learn to adapt, learn to cut back, regroup, and keep it going. Because that's what they want you to do is to give up so that they can profit even more off of you. All right, let's go. All right. So right here, we're going to be dispelling some more things here because... What we didn't know before is that these passports issued to nationals only. So the government understands that you are a national. It's the states that have turned you into a member of theirs called the public. When you get a pass, what's that here? 22 CFR, you know, uh, federal regulations 551.2. Passports issued to nationals only. A passport may be issued only to a U.S. national. Are you seeing this? So to all those MOOCs, and, and, and let me say this correctly. Let me say this correctly. I don't want to offend people who this, this does not apply to. So the people who are, most of the people in the Department of State Travel who issue passports, they know what's going on. Clearly not all of them do. So to those people who are trying to deny us people a passport as a U.S. national. Do you see what the code here says? A passport may be issued only to a U.S. national. So wait a minute, Wolf. How come then it says on there a U.S. citizen or in and or uh, a U.S. national? Because they can make it, they can, on special authority, create a passport for a U.S. citizen because we're all family, okay? So a passport being done in general, the way we do it, you're getting your national standing right there because only, it says only they're only supposed to be issued to nationals, people who are born here, but you have the right to be either or. So what they've done is, is they've said, look, we can make if people fill it out a certain way they can be a u.s system which is why back in the old days when i first got started in this the old passport applications used to say on number 11 on page two of two are you a u.s citizen or a state citizen you can pick there it is so what happens is is the way most of us fill out the application in general it sets us up to be a U.S. citizen, which is why most people on average get a three-star rating. There's nothing wrong with that. It means that you're basically in both of them, but you're still a national, okay? They're just basically saying that, look, you've got a little bit of, some of the things you're doing here shows that you're you're a citizen, and but you also have a national side going on. Okay, hold on one second. Sorry, I always get blown up here. People are wild out there. Okay, I see how that. Okay, that's cool. Might have to go with my plan B for something else, but that's fine. Um, 
Okay, so once again, when you get your passport, unless you specifically fill it out, which is what the average person does and getting like a one or a two or a three star, which is promoting you as a U.S. citizen. Okay, but the three star really just means that you are both. They said you've got some U.S. citizen and you've got some national. All right, so yeah, you do want four or five, which would be better. Now, we do know they're, they're making some internal changes, um, but it's whatever. Still yet, you fill it out, you put the code on, and you keep it moving. And remember, guys, you can always make your own private IDs. Not pat. Well, you can't make your own private passport, and it may or may not work, but that's for, I think we made a video on that already. We're not going to get into that now. So right here, passport issued to nationals only. Passport issued to nationals only. So... Take that to all the people in in the agency. You say, oh, there's no. So right here, let, let's break it down even more, though. So it's supposed to be issued to nationals only, right? So that's that's locked in. So the term national, then we look over here. It says a passport may be issued to, only to a U.S. national. So the term U.S. national is interchangeable with the word national. National contains the word nati which is native, natives of the several states. It's a, Or B, it says, unless authorized by the department, no person may bear more than one valid passport of the same type. So there are different types. You cannot have two of the same, but you can have more than one of different types. You just cannot have the more than one of the same type. I don't, I don't understand why this is not why this is hard for people to understand or, or to, to read. It says it right here. Let's see what they have underneath passport, though. A me, passport means a travel document. Regardless of the format issued under the authority of the Secretary of State, attesting to the identity and nationality of the bearer. Testing. Meaning this is a representation. It's not actually you, but it rep represents you. And the nationality, it doesn't say citizenship. It's like your driver's license or ID, but your nationality of the bearer. Okay. Let's move forward. And they've got the different types. You got a regular. What does it say? What did he say? What did he say? Under 22 CFR 51.3, types of passports. A regular passport is issued to a national of the United States. Boom. How you like me now? Wait, let me get into the old school um, uh, prison pose. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Right? Right or wrong? We're good? Are we on the same page here? My or is there, are one of the trolls still going to put a thumbs down on there? Which is why I need all of you beautiful people to make sure that you guys put thumbs up. All right? So we ain't having it. Look, I don't expect 100% because even Jesus uh, was hated on by some of, some of his own people. And that was supposed to be the son of God. And so I don't expect to be 100%. And I'm not perfect. But I'm just saying I can read. So... All right, so getting back to it. A regular passport is issued to a national of the United States. So when you do your passport, unless you specifically have U.S. citizen identifiers, and essentially they're making a special thing for you, that's why they have the different, different styles. But here's the thing. Getting a passport is for a national of the United States. So law enforcement... So the good ones out there, thank you for doing your job. I appreciate you guys. So the shady ones, the dirty ones, 
who then hide behind the blue line and expect good officers to back them. So this goes out to the good officers. In your books, they don't talk about this. They call this same term, I've got highlighted here, a foreign national. Foreign national because when you are in your line of duty, you're operating under the U.S. corporation. The U.S. corporation is foreign in relationship to the organic constitution. So different jurisdictions. So in your jurisdiction, they have the ability to not put national in the United States, but they have to have something in there that means the same thing. They don't want to teach you about your nationality because then they lose control. But in your books, as enforcement agents, legal enforcement officers, the term foreign national is the same thing as national of the United States. This is a private thing. This is what you guys are, in fact, to my good officers, judges. Mostly you guys know this stuff. Some of you, eh, a good chunk, not all. Your legal department absolutely knows it, but how many of you guys have ever talked to your legal department? You know why? Because the legal department is boring. What's your me? I like to jazz it up, make it a little fun. And they know the style manual. So they know what's going on, but to can keep control, keep you guys focused, you don't want to tell you guys any of this stuff. It's easier that way. You don't want to know that. Let me go to the legal department. Well, I speak legal department. A regular passport is issued to a national of the United States, but you have the ability to proclaim yourself a citizen if you choose. Then, of course, they've got service passport, official, which means an officer or employee of the government, non-personal service contractor. Now, here's the one thing, I think this is where the pickle man does his, is an official or employee of a state, local tribe, territorial government traveling abroad to carry out official duties in support of the U.S. government. So they always have to throw, uh, you know, their own little jazz in there. Hey, hey you're doing that for us, though, right? So some people have applied for an official passport underneath this one. Diplomatic, issued to a foreign service officer or to a person having diplomatic status. That's what a lot of people will proclaim themselves. Passport card, well, what do we got here? The passport card is issued to a national of the United States on the same basis as the regular passport. So why are so so if a passport's issued to a national of the United States, all right, break screen. If a passport by the federal registry, federal code says that a passport is issued to a national, then why do they have on the bottom of the DS11, I under penalty of perjury, uh declare myself to either be a US citizen or a non- citizen national now if i have to choose between the term u.s citizen and non-citizen which means not a citizen which then cancels and leaves the word national non-citizen meaning you're not a citizen but you're a national so non-citizen national if i have a choice between the two and we just read the federal code where it says passports are issued to nationals of the united states why would i choose u.s citizen they don't even have a box anymore. That's over 20 years ago. They had used to have a box. You could choose. Now they're saying it's all how you fill it out. So, okay, so we fill it out the right way. Stop the cap. It's right there in the codes, man. People read. We're waking up. I've been awake for a long time. But anyway, so there it is. Okay, but let's go on. We got, we got more juice, more juice to squeeze. Passport card issued to a national of the United States. It's only valid between these areas, these countries. It's not a global 
interoperable international travel document. So then you have to ask yourself, how come I don't see it on the DS-11, a simplified term saying National of the United States? Because it's underneath the term, and I'll come out and say it. They're blurring it. The term non-citizen national means the same thing as National of the United States. These are issued to us as nationals. Okay, there you have it. Next up. Code 8 USC 1401, nationals and citizens of the United States at birth. So there is more than one status and standing that you can claim. I'm not going to go through and read all the various ways you can be a U.S. citizen or national because it's a lot of boring reading. But here's the here's the here's the sexy part, though. Check this out. A person born in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof. Well, here they mean in the geographical sense. How can we prove that, Wolf? Once again, in a spot where they didn't either update or change or hide or unhyperlink the word. So you have to guess what it is. Let's check it out. The term United States, except as otherwise specifically here and provide, which means other places it might mean something different because there are like three or four different definitions of the term United States. So here it says, when used in a geographical, meaning the real land, not on paper BS, the real physical land, means the continental United States, not state of Alaska, but Alaska. Just Alaska by itself is the real, or Alaska state sometimes, or Republic of Alaska, or Alaska Republic. This is the one that is protected by the Constitution. The flag without, without, without the fringes. This is where we are protected in the private. Okay, let's keep going. Some people who are born abroad to a service parent, you can also use this code right here, 1401A. I was born abroad and one of my parents was a service member. Now look down here. It says, a parent of whom is a citizen of the United States. They're basically saying here, under all of the terms, the statuses and standings, everything falls underneath here. And let's see what they mean here. Yep, in the geographical sense, once again, not the corporation. Not the on paper. Well, I guess technically, if I had to be correct, though, citizen of the United States does include U.S. citizens. So I guess that term does cover that. So I digress with that. All right. And then whatever B was, was repeal. Find some notes. Person was born in Puerto Rico on or after 1899. Panama, Alaska. Okay. Basically, yeah, that's whatever. I don't, I don't see anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I almost forgot about 1408. I'm glad I kept going. So, 8 USC 1408 nationals 
but not citizens of the United States at birth. Continental. Okay. All right, so that pretty much is all the goodies in that one. I didn't see the other video, guys. Here's a, a good key thing to use in some of your defenses and your statements your affidavits, your declarations, whatever. Um, and if you're having problems and they're denying you of whatever, remember 8 U.S.C. 1503, denial of rights and privileges as a national. All right. This is one that you want to have that you can use. All right. Hold on one second. Apologize for the pause. All right. So let's go to the next one. Don't let them tell you you can't be either or. You can right here. You slap eight USC eleven oh one. 22. You can use A. I prefer B. Don't tell them you can't, you can't be a national. Oh, it's against my constitutional right, my private right, private law, um, and the federal code right here. Don't let these don't let some of these morons lie to you or some of these shady ass people lie to you. Okay, I think that's that. All right, some more key points. GPO Styles Manual. The government prints this manual. It's a styles manual. This means that le what, what do these things mean on a legal level, not just reading them? A lot of people defend their, their little stance by just reading it. They don't know what the styles manual says for the government or for the state or for whatever. 
They're not, some of them are not lying to you. They just don't know better than you. So once again, another key point in dealing with nationality and passports. Nationalities is plural for the word national, which contains nation, because when you are born in the private, not the corporate, but the private in your, in your state, in your area, that is the republic. You are living. You are not synthetically man-made. You were not corporate property. You were natural. So nationalities is plural for the word national. Multiple nations, multiple national nationalities. Contains the word nation. Contains the word native for native. That's why right here it says in designating the native. Natives of the states. The following forms will be used. So when you're born in Delaware, you're a Delawarean. That means that is your nationality. So by all accounts, you should be checking off other underneath nationality and putting in Delawarean. Now, obviously, use it as you see fit. And if you need to check off U.S. citizens, because they don't give you a choice. It is what it is. You might be able to add a sheet or add, attach something stating this, you know, copy this page and attach it to your forms would be a good idea. Cough, cough, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. Okay, so here's some more proof. All right, let's jump to the next one. Once again, let's show the proof is in the pudding. Unlike most of these gurus and shamans out here. Where is it right here? FAM.state.gov. Foreign Affairs Manual, Department of State, Government. And I know you guys watch my videos too. Here's something you guys probably haven't seen. There are endorsements that go with the passport. There are some of these that only the department can put into your book. And then there are the other ones where you can self-identify. We go down to the codes. They're going to say for them, you you can only use this if you're one of these agencies and it's authorized. Okay, these have to be authorized. You cannot just put these on yourself. But down here on number eight and nine, we we have the ability to put this on the endorsement line on our applications because it doesn't say anywhere that we cannot. It doesn't say only use when authorized. We have the ability to self-identify. So stop telling people to the dumbass agents out there, not all of them, some of them are good, to the dumb ones I'm specifically talking about, you're being lied to by your bosses and some of these managers. We have, and, and, and here's to the people at the post office, the acceptance agents as well. You don't know what you're talking about. We have the right to put these on our application, self-identify. The spot where it says END, which I, you know, I and a couple of other uh, viewers long time ago discovered and worked together to figure out that that's where these codes go. It is not blocked. It does not say official use only. It does not say cannot. Authorized only does not say that. Ergo, anywhere on the application, it is not, say, prohibited, like in the bottom where it says, do not write until an acceptance agent, or do not use, do not mark acceptance agents only. Those are places we cannot do anything. The rest of it, we can. Now, we know that this is from the Department of State. We know that it's a foreign affairs manual. We know it's section 505.2. We know that it's been updated 11.7.23, not as thorough as it should be, okay? They, they, they made some changes, and which tells me that they also watch my videos. So, because I know here, 
and and thank you guys for watching my videos because they did change before it said on number eight the bear is also known as or aka known as the bear uses an assumed name in addition to their legal name. They removed this in the word there right here, which was in purple. Purple represents your, I hate to use the word, but sovereign or private natural name as being a high level of royalty. Red represents the living man, the organic Black represents the non-living, the dead, the ether from from which things are created and pulled from, if you will, are made in their in the in the universe. Okay, if you want to look at it this way, well, you know, no, I won't. I won't get all religious on you. Never mind, or of faith, we'll just say. So their their meaning ownership legal name, which for me would be James C. Lovett. I'm not hiding any of that. Never have since day one. I don't have to go by a, you know, hidden name. I keep it real. So they had this wrong because their legal name, and really, if you really want to look at it, legal name right here, this should be in black. If I was to do it, because their legal name is supposed to be in black, but also be in blue. So, you know, whatever, black or blue, but most of their things are black. But they had there the word there in purple. So, but I guess you could have looked at it as in the word there in purple right here means the 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 living person's legal name. So I guess it wasn't totally wrong, depending on how you want to look at that. But anyway, let's get let's get back to it. So zero eight all if use is letting them know the bearer is also known as. So you're telling them that the name on the passport, the bearer uses an assumed name in addition to their legal name. Because your real name is a given name. You see this? They're telling you right here. A given name is your name in all lowercase lettering. But because they have corrupted the lowercase lettering with the same spelling, and you've never claimed your birthright, which should be your name, for me, James C. Lovett, but my real given name should be James Charles of the House of Lovett, or James Charles or James Cash of the... Uh, Love it nation, the tribe of love it in all lowercase lettering. And yeah, you can use quantum syntax grammar if you want, but you don't have to. That is a given name, but they corrupted our normal given names. And then they have surname. This is the corrupted legal name. Surname is your servant name. What name do you serve by? You, you're a servant of the crown or whoever. So they're telling you that when you use 08, they're saying, well, this person might have a different name. Now, you can interpret this different ways. You can say, well, the name on the passport is the given or is the is the um, assumed name. Or the person carrying this document might have an additional name. That actually just gives me an interesting thought. Okay. So anyway, but here's where I wanted to really get down to. So 09 all, which really we now know should be just the numbers 09 placed on the endorsement line. So even though in my previous videos, it's funny. Lots of people are like, the bad wolf didn't discover the 09 all code. Well, hey, you know what? I know you got it from me. Because it's not 09 all. It's actually just 09. It's the only thing you're supposed to place on that. Because the all part comes up to here. So even like I said, even for me, I make mistakes. It's not a horrible one. When you put all here, you're saying all types of passports. They don't need that. They already know what type it is. It's a regular one. So this, 
So all just means all of these can have it. Any of these can have it. The zero nine, meaning you're a, you're a national in any of these positions. I was using the zero nine back when I first started the explanatory statement because that was the, the main focus of, well, not the main focus, but one of the focuses in there, which is why it was a good seller. It's still a good, it's still a good document. But now that so many people have it, paid and unpaid. And the secret's out. So I made a video on this when everybody else started saying, oh, look, hey, hey, because they got it from me. Now I'm not saying I created it, because this has been out here. But uh go back 10 years. Nobody was knowing about any half of this stuff. That's why my channel got uh, popular is because of the explanatory statement. Nobody knew what it was. And everybody was like, oh, what's that? But anyway, I digress. So this is not me being kind. It's just telling the truth. That's all. But the real uh, coup de grace here is the bear is a United States national and not a U.S. United States citizen. So a U.S. citizen. So how come they don't have a special one in here for somebody who's just a U.S. citizen? Make it make sense. It says, placed in the pack issued to a U.S. national who is not a U.S. who's not a citizen. Because you have the right to choose between the two. U.S. national will be printed instead of USA in the front of the card, which it should be. But apparently our stuff is not getting to the legal department and being updated with all the information that it should be. It says, prior to the creation of this endorsement in 1992, the bearer status was as a non-citizen U.S. national is indicated by circling the word national or crossing out the word citizen in the secretary's message on the signature page of the passport. This is no longer an option to the newer ones. So now we jump here to Cornell Law EDU. So 8 U.S.C. 1101.22 states the term national of the United States means either a citizen. Citizen of the United States means all of the encompassing statuses and standings that they have, that you can have while being here. I don't like that one. You're going to find that they always put your best option last. Or B, a person, though not a citizen, by your choice, of the United States, owns allegiance to the United States. And here they mean in the geographical sense. The organic. And this is an 8 U.S.C. 1101 definitions, 22 and B. If you look over here, let's see here today. I'm hoping the AI picks this one up. So right here, certainly let's explore the differences between a U.S. citizen and a U.S. national. They can be used interchangeably. All U.S. citizens are U.S. nationals, but not all U.S. nationals are U.S. citizens. We have irrevocable rights. So right here, there is a difference, but you can claim either because you were born as a national first. You are natural and native to your state, God, your faith, or whatever else first. Then you become a citizen by your choice because they ask you to prove residency. All right, guys, we can hit all the key points. That is it. Don't forget to hit that bell and like, subscribe.
talk to you guys later. Appreciate you. The uh, Wayward Tribe of the Wolf. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. I got to get some other things done, and I may or may not make some more videos today, so we'll see. Appreciate you guys watching, and um, live free, live brave, live true. Be the best you can. Feel a little bit better every day, and that's it.